ERT stands for Electrical Automation and Robotic Technology. After a little while in electrical engineering degree, I wanted something a little more hands-on, a little more in the field working with the electronics, and this program looked like it would work for that, and it's, thus far it's gone pretty good. I've always been interested in electronics, and my dad is a technician and so is my brother, so I was able to bounce questions off of them and kind of get a feel for what work would be like if I went through the ERP program, and it really felt like something that would fit for me. I've had some previous experience in the field, and I thought, uh, it's about time for me to come get my degree uh, in this. And it's something that's interested me for a long time, so I wanted to pursue that. In the first semester, we teach the basic electrical math and theory. However, the math and theory that we teach goes really in depth in what we do. It's the foundation of our entire program, and we teach an entire semester of math and theory. Then we also do conduit bending and we do wire pulling motor controls. In the second semester we teach more motor controls. We get into uh, lots of different controls for AC motors and DC motors. We also teach uh, ladder diagrams and we teach the students how to design circuits that are functional and then we teach them to hook them up and wire them so they can wire them up according to the wire diagrams. We also teach them troubleshooting. Third semester we teach industrial electronics, solid state circuits. Things we'll do include op amps. We go into frequency drives, PID loops, servo motors. We also teach the beginning of course of PLCs and we start from the basics of the processor itself to programming to uh, some of the main minor networks and HMIs. Fourth semester we continue the electronics, frequency drives, networking them to PLCs and to device net systems, PID loops, temperature control, speed control by way of a PLC. We uh, are just starting to introduce servos, servo motors. The ultimate goal is that they can get it well employed with a good company and be safe while they're there. After I finish the program, uh, I plan on searching for the best opportunities and luckily there are many opportunities for ERT students um, to find jobs really anywhere they want to live. When I finish the ERT program, I plan to graduate being a skilled technician. It's a good vocational choice for anybody that wants to uh, learn how to make things go, and make things run off electricity. So it's a good choice for women, men, anybody that would like to do that, interested in that. Oh, I definitely would recommend it to anybody that's uh, looking to get into the electrical field, uh, more specifically the automation field, uh, programming, PLCs, that sort of thing. I would highly recommend this program to other students just because it's a, it's a field that's practical. Anybody can get in and uh, learn about the uh, electricity and electronics and how to program, and they can have a great career after the program.